Hey guys, welcome to another Quail Lake Awanos Council Time. Please be bear with me, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> um, wasn't at church last week. I had to go down south to be with a loved one. And it got me to thinking, you know, I missed you guys. Uh, I missed church. And it got me to thinking, um, why is it important to go to church? Why should we attend church? Uh, is it important? And I think, first of all, we should see what God has to say about it, right? So if you look at the Hebrews 10, verse 25, God says, Do not neglect coming together as a church body. Do not neglect, hard time with that word, do not neglect getting together, is what God tells us. So that's, that's pretty straightforward. Um, if we look at Acts 2, verse 42, it says, For church members, devote yourselves devote themselves to the apostles teaching to fellowship breaking of bread that's my favorite and to prayer uh, we should follow these examples right um, so to vote devote themselves to the apostles teaching well we don't have the apostles with us do we but we have their teaching and we have pastor Joe and pastor Joe uh, he teaches from God's Word every Sunday he gives us a little bit of God's Word every Sunday. Um, we have kids' ministries that uh, teach God's Word. Uh, we have Bible studies that teach God's Word. So we definitely adhere to this principle of, uh, of devoting ourselves to God's, to the Apostles' teachings. <clears throat> fellowship. Um, fellowship. What is fellowship? It's just uh, coming together, uh, serving one another, encouraging one another, uh, loving one another. And we definitely do that, guys. Um, you guys encourage me just with your singing. You know, I've told a few of you before, you sound like angels behind me when I hear you. And if I've noticed that, I guarantee you other people have noticed it too. So that's very encouraging. Uh, just in your singing alone is encouraging. Just in your... Uh, Attendance at church is encouraging, guys. Um, serving one another, that, uh, that's part of encouraging is serving. And you guys serve. You guys help out. You, I've seen you guys uh, pass out flyers. Um, I've seen uh, one Mother's Day, you guys are passing out flowers. Uh, that's serving. And uh, in fact, Casey, you gave me one. <laughs> A little confusing. <laughs> But I was very encouraged by that and really made me happy. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's fellowship, guys. Just uh, being with each other, encouraging each other, uh, serving each other. That's part of fellowship. Breaking of bread. Uh, that's having meals together. And we do that. We. Uh, uh, I know we all like that part. <laughs> But we get together, and we, we, we sit down at tables, and we talk, and we laugh, and we just be with each other. And uh, that's important. Um, the last part is prayer. Well, we, we obviously pray, don't we? We obviously pray at church. So we follow all these examples. And the interesting thing about this is now we do all these things, but the first church, the first church 2,000 years ago, the very first Christians, they did the same thing, guys. The same thing that we're doing now. They uh, they listened to the apostles' teaching. They fellowship. They broke bread. They prayed together, and uh, fellowship together. And that's uh, they're doing the same thing that we're doing now. Uh, they didn't do it at an established church like we have. They had to do it at uh, someone's house or out in the country or wherever. But uh, they did the same thing that we're doing. So that's pretty important. So to recap. Um, to recap, uh, coming together as a church, as a church family, uh, it's a place where believers can love one another, encourage one another, guide one another, serve one another, teach one another, honor and be compassionate to each other. So that's pretty cool. And also, uh, it's a place where we can uh, witness uh, n uh, new believers uh, in Christ. Um, in their um, obedience, we can see them and be baptized. That's awesome. To see that guys that's awesome to see one come into the family like that and we get to see it at church so uh, yeah is the church important absolutely and something I noticed uh, I told you a few weeks ago that we need to meditate on God's Word and meditate about these things and thinking through and 
something that I was thinking about and it came to me <laughs> is, um, well, what's the first thing that we do at church? Very first thing we do when church service starts. We sing, right? We sing. We uh, honor God through song. We, uh, we praise Him. We, uh, we, we thank Him for His love, for loving us, and, and for us loving Him. And just all these things, we, we, we worship God in song. And we make Him number one right off the bat. We make Him number one. And if you'll notice, uh, in God's commandments, His Ten Commandments, His moral laws, the first commandment says to love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And Jesus said, this is the greatest commandment. Um, we do that right off the bat at church. <laughs> so that's pretty, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, guys, we, uh, uh, people in this world, sometimes they don't have a church to go to. Sometimes it takes them all day just to walk to church to be with fellow Christians. Uh, in certain countries, it's illegal. It's illegal to go to church and be arrested for it. We experienced that last uh, last year. We couldn't go to church. And I believe in certain parts of the country, some people were being arrested for going to church. You guys, we have this opportunity now to come together uh, at church, and we should definitely take advantage of it, okay? It's definitely worth it. And uh, when you hear the alarm clock on Sunday, when your parents tell you, get up, get up, get ready for church, man, do it with enthusiasm, okay? Because uh, it may not always be here. And uh, let's take advantage of it. It's important. And that's about it. Um, you know, one more thing. I, uh, I was thinking, I was meditating. Uh, God says that um, when all things pass, when the world passes, when the sun passes, when it all disappears, all this stuff, eventually thousands of years, maybe millions of years, a long time from now, when that all goes away, God says something's going to remain with him. Something will remain. And he said his word will remain, excuse me, will remain, right? Well, there's something else that will remain, and uh, that's the church. That's us, you guys. Uh, we're still going to be here. When all everything else passes, we're still going to be with God, and so will our memories. Uh, we'll still have our memories, guys. We'll remember our times together at church. So it's very important to go to church and experience it, man, have fun, serve, and just 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 fellowship with it guys and just uh, just take advantage of it all righty and that's about it let's go ahead and close it in prayer and we'll pick it up again next week heavenly father uh thank you for the opportunity that you give us uh, to go to church uh to come together and be a part of your family lord we pray for the the good health and protection of the kids and their family and their loved ones as well as the church and we pray all these things in the precious name of jesus christ Amen. That's it, guys. I'll see you at church. Bye-bye.